Yes. Welcome everybody. This is a new episode of the C Word. In this podcast, I bring you the stories of your favorite Zumba instructors. What do they like? What are the future plans? And how did they get to into Zumba world? So for today, I have a very special guest, a great friend of mine, Zumba Jammer from Puerto Rico. He has his own sync session. So let's give a big welcome to Ronnie Graterot. My friend, how are you? <laughs> we made it. We made it. I'm good, Danny. We, and you? We made happy it. Happy to be here. Happy New Year to you. I mean, it's almost a, it's already March, but so happy to see you, my friend. No, no, no. I say happy to be here. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, you know, Spanish and English language, no problem. Well, for the people... I just want to make a little overview of Ronnie. As I mentioned, he's a Zumba jammer coming from Puerto Rico. He's been known for having a sync concession called Puerto Rican Flow. And many people have seen him in the sync jam sessions that are now virtual, or maybe that have participated in the cities and the countries that he has visited. I, and another thing that I have to mention about Ronnie, he's a great friend of mine. Every time that I have an idea that I want to develop, He's almost the first person that I call because Ronnie and I, you know, um, we share the same spirit of entrepreneurs and wanting to try new things. So I thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to appear here in the Sea World podcast. I love it. I love it. Uh, I love the idea. Uh, you know, uh, you too, you support me so much in all my crazy ideas. So, yes, let's do it. You know, Ronnie, the first question, of course, that I have to ask is, how did you get in the Zumba world? Where and when was this opportunity to go to Zumba class, to think about becoming a Zumba instructor? Uh, well, when I first came to from Puerto Rico to United States, I was looking for I was looking for new jobs, new jobs opportunity. And I tried to to make it into the performing uh, um, as everyone know, if you don't know, uh, here in Orlando is very popular the the, the parks now, the amusement parks Correct. like Walt Disney World, uh, Universal Studios. Um, if you travel a little farther, you have Busch Garden in Tampa. Um, but at least in Orlando, it's a lot to do with uh, shows, with performing. Uh, and as a dancer, I always was attracted to to travel and to work in. In dance, you know, in the field that I that I right. uh, something that I like to do, that I enjoy to to to, to do, no. Uh, but it, it, it was it was the auditions were scary. The, the audition <laughs> were hard, um, and I didn't make it until I auditioned for Universal Studios. I auditioned for Disney like two times. I didn't make it, <laughs> but then I auditioned for Universal Studios, and and I made it there. Uh, Thankfully, um, I met a friend, and this friend was organizing a dance workshop in a in a local studio in Orlando called Rhythm X at that time. Nice. Uh, the owner of the studio asked my friend if he was uh, interested in in teach a class, kind of like a dance, fitness, cardio. At that time, I was not familiar with it. I only see Zumba in commercials back in Puerto Rico, you know, right. the ladies like sweating, moving the hair. <laughs> and uh, I would change the channel. I was not interested because when you come from the dance world, um, difficulty level play a big role. And as a choreographer, mm -hmm. the most difficult that I showcase myself uh, being as a body movement difficulty, you know, that level of, of body movement difficulty that I can I can put move a uh, move uh, step together that they resembles certain kind of challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, dancers are more attracted to attracted to that. And that's in the dance world, no? The, uh, if you challenge me, I want to take classes with you. Okay. But in Zumba, it's totally the opposite. The Zumba, the, the real challenge is make people that mm, are not used to, to move, make them move. <laughs> so it's it's a total switch. Uh, so I was not interested in in that. <laughs> I, I was like always uh, creating and complicated, and, and people like the style. So people always um, want to take classes with me, dance classes. 
and this studio was looking for a for for a, a cardio dance fitness instructor. Okay. Um, I didn't understood. And my my friend told me that he, my friend reject the offer, but he told the owner that he was a new guy from Puerto Rico, hip hop dancer that he was looking for for a for a shot, you know, for work. And there you so go. he referred me. So I went, I get to see the classes, and it's the first time that I see this dynamic of two, it was two instructors, I remember, mm -hmm. Vanessa and John Gonzalez, John uh, Gonzalez. on stage. Yes. Wow. Yeah, yes. wow. And I see, and I see them on stage leading a full class, like 100 people there. It was like a club. It was lights out, music loud, uh, disco lights. They were on a stage. Uh, it was a big mirror in front. People like was like dancing, having fun. It's the first time. First time that I see something live. I would see the commercials. I was not attracted to that. But when I see the live experience, it was different. And I tried it. I did it as a student. And since then, brother, you got hooked. Never, never came back. <laughs> I take my license. I went to convention. I fall in in a Zumba convention is when I really fall in love of Zumba because I see the the community. I see the sense of community. So great, great question. To take a license, you go to the V1 with the says. Who was your says on that time? Oh, so because I want to become an instructor very fast, I, I cannot wait for a for a I couldn't wait for a Seth to come to Orlando. At that time, Seth has just traveled to Orlando. Gotcha. Right now we have Jenna Bostic who she come here, but at that time it was not that often. So License every weekend they were licensing in Miami. Nice. So I took a ride with someone uh, 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 that was planning also to, to become an instructor as well. I, I asked the person, can I, you know, can I ride with you? And the person was okay. So we went to Fort Lauderdale and I took my B1 with Eric uh, Santana. Uh, Santana. Yeah, like I'm gonna say Eric Aguirre, <laughs> but Eric Santana. Yes. Uh, Mr. Yeah, the guy with the globe, yes. <laughs> we I, love very, yeah, yeah. He has his gimmick with his globe. That, that's amazing. You know, it's, and, it's amazing that that's his brand because I don't know him personally, but when the when the name flashed on my head, I remember that he wears the globe and he was this uh, few sets that can do it English and Spanish B1. So I yeah. shout out to Eric. So nice that he got that, to be yeah. your, your sense instructor on that day. Okay. Yes. Before you become a jammer, so how many how many years did you were you a sumo instructor before jumping to the jammer? Okay, so yeah, I become instructor 2012. Uh, I I went to convention right away. 2013, I was in convention already. So I started learning the whole dynamic of of what were where were the presenters. And it, I always heard the terms, you know, the, the, and, and you learn this in, in B1, but maybe you don't press as much attention to what is a CJ program, what is what is a set, what is a CJ in the scene. Right. Of course, I become a scene right away, but um, I when I really learned what a Zumba Jammer was, which is technically a choreographer in Zumba, mm -hmm. I was like, yes, that's, 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 my spot. that's for me. That's where I want to <laughs> that's, be. That's for me, yeah, that's what I, what I want to become uh, in this company. And uh, 2014, they start Rhythm Jam Sessions. Okay. So it's the first time since 2010 that the program was running. I was not there, but um, they it was a program like it was before me. But in 2014, they started the Rhythm Sessions and they opened an opportunity for reggaeton. They were out looking for a Florida candidate for reggaeton. And I was like, I mean, yes. Who, who bets uh, that somebody coming from Puerto Rico, like from the source of reggaeton, like <laughs> <laughs> it was yours. Okay. And in that moment of becoming a jammer, uh, when you went to the first scene con, Who was your inspiration? Who got your attention into the Zumba world that, that you start following because you like their style and, and might be a still an inspiration or in that moment was somebody that you were looking after? Many people. Yeah, I cannot tell only one. It's many people, many people. I always, uh, the cool part is like um, through the years, I get to meet them 
uh, a little more close. Yeah. So um, I'm a story guy. You know, I, I like to I like to feel energy. I like to share. I like to give compliments to people. So I the 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 best part is like I get to share this. What I'm gonna tell you to them in their face. Um, <laughs> okay. Cat, Cat and Latoya from dance hall mashup. Uh, I think that's a session that really inspired uh, Puerto Rican flow. Uh, I always tell them because I remember people, people will go to the room mm -hmm. when it's, it's time for dance hall matchup. People will go to the room, change clothing, change their Zumba wear, come back down in their little shorts, uh, yeah. Jamaican flags or, or Rasta, Rasta color. And everybody was having a blast in that class. I remember that. And, and I also remember like just stopping for a second and looking to the side, looking at my fellow things, just having fun, like just losing it up in that class. And, and I thought at that moment, that's the class that I want to, I, I want to create something like that, but cultural with my culture. Right. And I, definitely. I can imagine, of course, since you've been in this entertainment industry, dancing with artists and getting to see that this could happen as well in the Zumba world, like on SingCon, as you mentioned, having these teams and the clothing and, and like pu putting a show because for real, yeah. I mean, it's a class, but but it's a show. And we're going to talk later about SingCon because we have so many things to say about the comeback after three years. I think that everybody's excited to go back to the dance floor in Orlando. So we're going to talk about yeah. Puerto Rican floor in a moment. Okay, yeah. so you became a jammer. You started doing things in Florida and, and then started spreading in the United States. But, you know, um, you... I know you because you've been traveling the world uh, with the Zumba Jammer program and doing classes all over. What was the first country outside the United States that you visit as a jammer or for doing a special class? For, I, I always see it like a, like my big first tour. Okay. <laughs> it was small, but I mean, for me, starting my career and get the opportunity to travel to UK. UK. I went to UK. I did, I did, I did uh, four countries. Uh, I went UK. I went Italy right away. So I stayed one month out okay. there. Yeah. Full Italy, tour. Yeah. Spain and Israel. Wow. And then I came back. And then all, all, everybody there was like jammers who helped me out. Like, come do a jam session with me and then we're gonna do a master class and, and nobody knew me at that time though. so that was cool the people was coming out to 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 meet me you know and and i was i was amazed i was like uh, i'm still amazed every time that i get to travel to one of these beautiful places i'm 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 flattered you know like all these people come and to 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 learn it you see it like that not to learn from me like they want me to teach them something that they cannot they can bring to their classes. So yes, it is as a fr the first time it, it means I think a lot. <laughs> no? Sure. I, I can remember huge. I can remember like the first trip. I mean I've been I have done a little bit of trips, but my first trip was to San Jose, California. Me living here in Charlotte. I like uh fly from side to side of the United States, it was priceless. And so from all these trips Can you tell us maybe something funny that has happened to you in one of these? Because, I mean, besides this, um, the UK and Europe, you have gone to so many places and, you know, things happen out of your control or things that are funny. What can you recall um, a funny memory from one of your trips? Uh, I have a situation in a master class in Germany. I was with the twins there, uh, uh, Germany twins, German twins, because now we have the Colombian, we have the Tampa, we have the, the Sweden twins. <laughs> we, have, we have many many twins in Zumba, but with the, with the hum, actually Hungarian twins, uh, well, they live in Germany, they invite me to a Contento Masterclass, they call it. Okay. And it was my turn to teach in the day, uh, and the speakers, I don't know it was the energy, I don't know what, what was happening, the music was too loud, the speakers blow, brother, 
Bloom. Oh my. I was needing you there, right there. I was like, what is Danny right now? <laughs> the speakers blow. Uh, I was in the middle of a dance. And what's now? Because people are hype. I already warm up. I already like in, in the second song of the class after warm up, uh, people are hype. People are like, like having a blast, like stopping, you know, and, and it's fitness. That's a thing, you know, at least in fitness, like you don't want to stop the body like that. So as a um, fitness instructor, and I think my my performance side to of, of, of that I have been incorporated through the last year into the fitness uh, told me the show never should never stop the show the show, the show must go on, go on. wow uh -huh. yeah so i start clapping la clave <laughs> pa -pa, <yeah. laughs> everybody follow along and i start improvising a choreo so i build up i start with as royal left from there i went to i don't remember how it was but to, just to give you guys an idea I start building up by sequence of eight and eight and eight. I start building up and some people were like running. I, I could hear them <laughs> running, trying to fix them. But we were having a blast without music, without music, pure um, rhythm, pure claps. And and I would make them like, Ooh, wow. and, and for, fly. And for, and how yes. long, for how long did you have to keep that energy? It was like for... 10, I would say 10, 15 minutes. Wow. <laughs> and, and they didn't fix it. I will so... mention something because I know that you're a fan of Daddy Yankee and Wisin and Del. You know, I remember that this happened in the concerts, in reggaeton concert. Like one day in Colombia, Daddy Yankee had to go through the same situation. The speakers blew or turned off. Somehow he managed, he started doing the clubs, he started managing the public, and the show went it until until the problem was fixed. So I think that's something that since you know, since you have know this artist, like boom, you, you got it out of the pocket. It, 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 uh, of course, it, 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 it's experience. And like you say, like you see, you see how people deal with this uh, problem in the past. And of course you always have it in, in your pocket, right. you know? And yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. And that Yankee is a good improve. Uh, he can improvise. Yeah, well. <laughs> so for him, it's a piece of cake, you know, save, save the moment. Okay, He well. can save any moment for sure. Pretty nice. Well, this was an amazing part of your story. I want to get to talking about what's happening now. So my, my question, I'm always interested that uh, jam, uh, jamming, since you're doing virtual and you're starting to do it again, live jams, sometimes in the month you have from one to four, five, six jams, like, I am going to see you every weekend doing something. And my interest is to know, like, how do you build the choreos on the week? Or what is the process for you to create choreographies? Because uh, I know that you don't want to bring all the same material to everybody, but you're always trying to innovate. So what happens in the week before the jam? How do you prepare for this? So I, I have a bad habit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go, I go, I leave uh, my schedule week by week. And and privately, I have talked this to you before <laughs> that we go, uh, okay, where, where we can work this. Okay, next week, let's talk. And let's, next week, we talk and we do. Mm -hmm. So we go week by week. Uh, um, I, I, I call it a bad habit. Maybe for me, it's not. Maybe for me, it, it's easier. Uh, going week by week. So in the beginning of the virtual, because I think virtual is when we really have the 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 feeling of like you can have to keep it fresh because now everybody can take the, the session. And they uh -huh. can repeat as well. If and I they can it. repeat it. Yeah, <laughs> they can repeat. So in the beginning, the Shani was thinking like, ah, I'm going to have to choreograph for every jump session. And now that's a burn there uh, i don't think like like no no job no duty uh especially when it's about art mm -hmm. because for me for me for me this is more than a job this is also my art this is also what's my hobby that i make my work 
Right. So I enjoy the process, you know, and I don't like pressure. I don't like the pressure. I don't like the pressure. Something with all the technical things, I struggle because I I, I just don't like it. I I, I want to, to be there dancing, having fun with everybody. Yes. So um, taking pressure out, um, I developed this idea of instead of choreograph for every jam session, let's choreograph one playlist for the month. Got it. And and I see many people adopt it, and and it's is the most, uh, I think, doable way, you know, to go as a as a samba jammer. Um, I agree. Also, I mean, and I have seen that uh, that idea of doing a monthly playlist is like you know, guys, for February I have this playlist. If you plan to repeat, you know that this is the playlist. Like there there won't be surprises like bringing 20 there's songs it. every month crazy crazy <laughs> there's still there's still some team members that they would repeat <laughs> and i appreciate that I, i i i love you guys today they're my jam junkies they would repeat they will they will register to to sorry they will register to two jams and 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 i love that uh, but also that keep uh that that keep my connection fresh because imagine every group renew now so every saturday sunday i have different people so i'm connecting with different groups nice opposite that if i get to uh, do one playlist my jam junkies will be like registering register <laughs> or different playlist sorry they will be registering 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 and they will not let anybody else take the, yeah. <laughs> the jam session totally so right that keep everything fresh uh, I, the group is new the uh, the the chorus for everybody's new and i renew the next the next month new plays okay i go like that i see some instructors uh, in the moment of creating a choreography some of them write the choreographies some of them uh, start recording and after record they they watch the they watch the record and pull up the steps how do you build your choreo like what is your your method for creating something Now, I know that you do it, you, you have some artistry in this, like you have done before for, for many things. But so what is this process to bring down a choreo? Because as you mentioned, um, for Zumba, it's something that people can follow, people that can feel comfortable, not too flashy as it was like dancing for an artist. How do you build a choreo? So um, you want the Zumba answer or general Hollywood thinking in both. I, I will give you a little bit, okay. Uh, uh, for Zumba, um, what it, it need to make sense is the transitions. Got so it. even when you when you hear, um, when I hear a part of a song and, and you know, in Zumba we, we, we split it by blocks. So I, when I, I'm hearing block A and it sounds to me that it takes me to make certain move I think about it, I stand up and I have to do it. But then when I'm thinking about part B, I have A and B now, uh, I have to stand up and connect. And that, in Zumba, the transition is the, I think is the most important uh, uh, part of, of, of the choreography, because you can choreograph anything and and then legs, yeah. but how those two are gonna connect that's the the really important part and how smooth how smooth you do it that's gonna be that's gonna be what the scene members are i think are uh, are looking for uh, many people see it in the way like oh how cool is that choreo but that i am available to teach it um i'm able to teach it or my students are able to follow because yes it looks awesome in ronnie but in it you are passing it through to, to other instructors correct that they can so do it yes, for yeah. the crew nice always thinking so all those all, all that process is always thinking uh, not even in the scene members that is registered for my jam i'm not i'm thinking about them how they're going to work it out because i have to teach them the queuing and everything no I have to teach them how to teach the choreo. Okay. But well, in the choreography process, I'm thinking about somebody that 
is not is not a dancer or have never take a Zumba class. So that's the way that you have to like go with the process. Very nice. So um, you've been featuring the latest Symbolium C97 along with CJ Mauricio and Socrates and Kat. So, well, congratulations for that. And I mean, you've been in many scene volumes. We're going to talk about a little bit of that. But so I want to know about this scene 97. What made it special? Because uh, when I talk with the presenters, every scene volume has something. If it's the rush, if, it's, if it was going to another country to record as before. What happened on this scene 97 that you can tell us? In 97, first, the music is amazing. Um, uh, we love the music in the moment we hear it. Um, a ver, I don't know, I don't know how much I can tell of this story. <laughs> eh, eh, Mauricio and me, eh, eh, we kind of arrived last minute to the to the to the volume. Eh, you know that things are crazy. Everything about airports or at least where now is a little more open. But everything was a little more restricted ba back in December when when right. the symbol was uh, made to be recorded, um, and it was um, it, things happened, and and the presenters for this volume uh, couldn't make it, so we we were called in a conference call, and we were asked if if. If, if you can jump we, in, we are down to do it. Yeah. Uh, and I'm talking to you like like a like a Friday before, and the <laughs> recording is next Thursday. I got. You. So we flew. It was very special because then um, we get to meet on Monday. It's our first day together, Marisha and me, and we start from routine one. I remember it was the merengue from routine one, choreographing one by one in in a whole day so we stay in a gym for a whole day we took a break and we came back like a, by nine something pm and finish all um, eight songs the first eight songs what were choreographed um and something i i love to work with mauricio but now this is another level because now it's like uh, c97 doesn't have a choreo that is mauricio choreo or ronnie choreo uh, everything that you guys see is choreographed together wow. and something really cool is like like because i know that at a certain point we start early so at a certain point we're gonna be tired during the day and i told this to mauricio i will never forget i will never forget about this uh i told him if you see me cheering cheering meaning like you see if you see me like just putting any step there uh, uh, si me ves cansado si me ves poniendo uh, cualquier porquería, <laughs> any, any shitty thing there, right. call me out. Don't let me. Got it. And I will not let you. You push me, I push you. <laughs> And he say like, no, 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 brother, yes, yes, of course. You know? So so we went like that. And it, it is something like, 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 he will listen to the music and he will do that. Uh, no. It was same. It was something like don't let I go me like down. this. It's like don't, no, no, no. Let's let's keep, let's do keep this the standards all. up. Nice. Keep the standard. Yes, keep the standard up. First, uh, our second rule. That was the first one. Our second rule is like um, trying to not use the 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 common and the no. How you would say that? So there's certain rhythms, I don't know, like Brazilian funk. Correct. Um, it's very popular when it's something very explosive. It's very popular when something's very explosive. You go with the Joelo. Got no? you. Is that that big step? No, because that it, it makes you the music tell you. Yeah, the aggressive, the, bam, the punch, the punch. Bam, the punch, you know? Yes. Right. Bam, bam, ba -da -da, ba -da -da, ba -da. And it's like that. Go with the obvious. So we say, so in in Zumba, yes, that what would make sense because instructors will expect something that they already know, and they will call that easy, because they already have created the muscle memory, so they like the easy way, they like the obvious, 
um, we go a lot of the majority of the time we go with the obvious. Yeah. But sometimes being being the live version of a scene volume, the pressure is like you have to show something new, something fresh, because the one on one should be more basic. So when you present the live version, you have to you have to step it up. Even when as an instructor in your class, me in my class here in Orlando in the gym, mm -hmm. my people will love to go with the Joelo. Mm -hmm. In a scene volume life, I will avoid it because it has been repeated so many certain times, you know? So I want to show something new. So we go with what right. with something that people will find new. This is very nice because actually I was going to ask you what was the difference uh, being in the live class that being on the one-on-one -on -one and you just have explained that you want to give more. So because in the one-on-one -on -one I see of course is for the people to adapt some of some of the basics with some of the flashy new steps, but on the live classes that is a show again. So nice to know that part about these two different sections of a scene volume. Okay. I think that you have participated in four or five symbolisms. I can remember that you went to Egypt, uh, Egypt to uh, do a um, one-on-one. You did later Argentina. You 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 went for the first symbolism that happened with the pandemic with Beto and the other presenters, and you were in this, huh? and you were in this scene ninety-seven. I is is there anything else that I'm missing in here? Um, yeah, I have scene sixty-eight the scene from hula hoop got it uh, that's uh, uh, uh my, that's the big debut debut day <laughs> uh, also was with mauricio so this c97 means a lot mm -hmm. because it's like first volume i get to work with my first oppor big opportunity in a volume i get to work with him and now the latest i get to work with him again in a life so we did one on one better did the life got it uh, 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 then sing 68, then sing 75, one on one in Egypt. And that was my first time in Egypt and I, I love it. And with Anna Georgesco, yeah. I get that opportunity. Uh, 75, sing 80 um, is oh, the Beto scene. Yeah, in Dominican Republic. Yes. But he invited us all. So we get all, we, we took part in the choreograph choreography process of that volume in two versions. We are in, in both versions. Uh, 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 I choreographed with the guys, the merengue, uh, Hacer el Amor. Got it. Uh, for one on one, Beto used, me and Beto met in Argentina and we, and we choreographed uh, Max Pizzolante song. Uh, so, yeah, I, 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 I was, I, that thing was a blast because we had, we get to work it together, you know? Uh, then 85, which is the uh, scene in, uh, in Argentina, then 87, that is the first uh, virtual. The first uh, virtual, right. Volume. Yeah, now 97, And like, like six, I think. From, from all these scene volumes, what song stays in your heart? What song do you still play when you travel? What is, you know, everybody has a song and maybe what could be one song that that you keep like this this is this is very special for you a song in Zumba what what is one of your favorites Pura Salsa from Max Pizzolante Pura okay. Salsa Pura Salsa nice hey 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 oh hey hey, hey. Um, I remember receiving a message from which it was huge for me from from Prince and Madel after that volume a message telling me like um, you did amazing, like congratulating me, like giving me big compliments and mention this to me. Um, eh, nobody in a one-on-one have show eh, how to split a group. And I'm in a one-on-one, -on -one. I'm in a studio by myself with camera production and I'm by myself But the song tells that the people from the right gonna do one sound and the people from the left gonna do another sound. Yeah. So I'm in a one-on-one, -on -one, I'm by myself, and I'm like, yes, I'm gonna show people how to split a group and how to, as an instructor, how to do it to one side, one to the, and I, I remember receiving big compliments. So that song always 
always go with me. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's also very nice. I mean, we're so excited hearing this story because, as I mentioned, in the Sea War is about getting to know all these details because. We have just a very short time to talk during events. Like, for example, I went to Orlando to the Scene Academy, and if I get to talk to you for five minutes, that was what we had because the commitments that we have. So thank you for this opportunity of being in the scene, in the sea world. Now, so I just want to go short in here, not too much detail, but um, everybody knows that you're married to Ijem. She's a very famous says from, <laughs> says from Turkey. And I remember that you made the live stream on September 2018. Here's my question, because I always say that the warm that I did for you guys, Mas Contento, like that warm of a star, like the love in there. <laughs> that's that's what I like to believe, no true. But here's my question. I mean, I mean, we, I love you. I love both of you. You are great friends of mine. And maybe the question that intrigues me is that you knew each other from before. You had this opportunity. Maybe in what moment your friendship switched to be a relationship. When was the switch that started this beautiful relationship? Uh, well, I always find Asian beautiful. <laughs> always, <laughs> since the moment I met her. But at the moment I met her, I was, I was, sort of, I was, <laughs> I was like, uh, uh, you doing, know, doing another uh, thing. Yeah, my it was content year. I was just living the living the experience, and and we keep it um, um, we keep it always cordial and as a friend, and and of course she's beautiful. So I always have thought that she's she's beautiful. She's amazing. She's a great instructor, mm. um, which I found I, I found uh, personality attractive. You know, but she's very humble. But she's talented and she can dance. Even she don't come from that world. She can dance. She's a basketball player, a, 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 a teacher. Uh, that she can dance. Uh, uh, is from Turkey, which is a, a, a Latino. Uh, right. Is something for me from like, the oh, other I mean, side of the world for real? Yeah, that's a very yeah, exotic so combination. And, and I never imagined. Never imagined. Uh, um, Uh, that something can grow, but I think working together, working together so much, and and we found so much the similitudes with That's... each other, and 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 so it so it grow, it grow. We we have uh, this is I think this is one of, of the most uh, uh, cool things, no? That we always say that we have a tattoo, a machine tattoo, nice. which is the contento tattoo. We have a machine tattoo before we get a relationship. That means the level of friendship. I mean, she was one of my best friends. Nice. All, all of the Contento group, you know, is it was so special that year that we have such a good relationship between between all that group. And and we, now we tell people like, we have a matching tattoo, <laughs> but we didn't make it after marriage. We didn't make it after being boyfriend and girlfriend. We make it before. Uh, it's, it's like that. It's like, I marry my best friend, you know, and, um, and I can complain. Man. Well, I'm so, hap so happy to hear. So, so happy to hear that story again. As I say, I thought that when I did that warm, I was like, okay, you know, I warm up that love right there. That, that's me. That's me. Maybe, maybe yeah. You <laughs> that, were fine. Yeah, of course you were fine. You that, have been fine the whole time. That's actually. my story. It's so good. So. So here's a great question. She says she has participated in scene volumes. You as a jammer have participated in scene volumes. In the moment of creating choreos, do you guys help each other or you rather work apart like to keep your own style? How do that work in home? Uh, yeah, we, we, I think, no, uh, we respect uh, each other's ideas. And, and because it's in volume, you want to showcase your idea, no? But we always ask opinion to each other, and 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 I'm, I'm, I I love to use I, I love how her mind works because different opposite to me, she again she's not coming from dance, mm -hmm. she dance because she met Zumba, so she has a better understanding of what Zumba is than me. Because uh, even even today, I still I still thinking a little bit of, of 
how this is going to look on Instagram, <laughs> for okay. example, as, as a showcase, you know. Got it. But he, he always uh, bring that back of, of what Zumba really is, what Zumba meant, and for who Zumba is. That is not for me or for us or for, for you as an instructor, you know, and you are a DJ, you create music and you understand, you know, how to take this, the, the, but you do it through the music because uh, you are so a scene member, you know, so you know already. So it's that, it's that having someone who have all that acknowledgement in the house, of course you want her her feedback on, on what you're working on. And even not for Symbolium, for jam, for jam sessions too. Especially Every month, fans, like, I always asking her, always taking ideas from her. <laughs> I, I can't imagine, I mean, uh, I don't know what could happen to me if I was married to another DJ, it would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I mean, I guess of course yeah. the conversations, and even have to take having to do getaways out of of the Zumba world, like to to think things different, to do something different outside the world. Yeah. I, I really respect that because both of you are very well known, and so to keep relationship in good mode and and your work standard. So I congratulate you for that. Now let's talk about the future because this is something that excites us. Again, as I mentioned, after three years, we're gonna get together again on SynCon 2022, and you're bringing Puerto Rican flow. I think you mentioned in Instagram, is this the seventh edition of Puerto Rican flow? If we count the virtual ones, yes, this will be the the lucky seven. Counting with the counting with the two virtuals, right? We have the it done virtual, twice right. in the virtual world. Okay, mm -hmm. and. Um, I think I, I knew you signs the third or fourth Puerto Rican flow. And I know that you always bring a theme, something that is important, something that is happening in the island, yeah. an artist yeah. to feature. So for this 2022, what are you going to bring to Puerto Rican flow? What's the idea? Silence, people. You, like, you have to sign <laughs> up for this. Yeah. It's always a surprise. I, I, I never, I never spoil it. I never spoil. It. I'm good at that. I, I, I love to tell story, and in in the way to tell story, you have to, you have, you have to have a wow factor. The story has to be a roller coaster. If I spoil it, it is is never work. So okay. <laughs> it's a secret. Okay. You have to come. Every year is different. I can assure you that, and you have seen it. I mean, you right. work my music. Right. Uh, every year is is different. It's like you will not expect. I see people like, no, I think your class is the last last year in life. But this year is, is not similar at all. Uh, it's another thing, and I take you to another trip. And it, it, more than a class, it's an experience. I I lo love to call it an experience. It's an experience. And 2022, of course, like you mentioned, the adrenaline the excitement to be back together live um, yeah yeah yes. i want to mention to the people that we have spoken before this year for 2022 i will be part of the puerto rican flow team so i'm so excited because this is the time to work with ronnie and doing something amazing and if you're listening to the, to us you haven't signed up yet but please have us in mind for syncon 22 puerto rican flow is going to be out of the hook Besides that, um, I know that you have a master class yourself and you have a master class with Egypt and friends. Which friends, who is going to come to this class if we can know? Oh, yeah, it's there, it's in the, it's in the registration sheet. Uh, a ver, uh, I'm bad with memory right now because uh, I go week by week. So <laughs> in the week of the convention is when I know. When, yeah. when we remember. Oh, I can mention. Yeah, I can mention you. Um, I know the twins from Colombia. The Colombian twins. The Colombian <laughs> twins. Yes. Uh, I know Mizuki from Japan is gonna be there. Great. Let's see. A ver, a ver. Dun, dun, I don't dun, want dun. to forget any 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 of the guys' names. Eh. Uh, yeah, I think. Let, let's, let's it's going to be amazing. It's, it's, <laughs> it's going to be amazing. There's so you, you got me there so, with that question. I don't, I don't, I don't have a no, clear the whole list. No problem. I mean, as 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 you mentioned, <laughs> if people go to the Syncom website, they can see in the registration yeah. what's going to happen and and the dates. So that's pretty good. So we're gonna have three chains to dance, and 
are you are you gonna have a scene jam session during scene or or are you gonna give the the two master class plus Puerto Rican flow session? No, no, no jam session this year. Um, uh, last last uh, live one, I didn't have a jam session. I think um, the the latest years uh, it was a lot of things happening, uh, especially because uh, Beto will invite us to the to the last to the concert. Uh, three concerts right. back to back so so uh, my boss i call her my boss uh, i love her so much uh, jenny is she's the director of the jump program she was like you know what i no jump session for you let's let's give your jump session to to another jammer and i was like totally okay i miss jamming at convention i it's, it's one of it's a um, very special private moment it's special. With, the, with the people. It's, it's, it's close. It's, it's, it's like a little group in a, in a little room. Uh, uh, so yes, it's like you say, it's special. So I, I, I definitely, I definitely uh, miss that. But uh, yes, now this year, I think, I think they let me concentrate in and go to your totally. classes. We, we, and, we have, we have to build because. One of the things, so when, when I get involved in projects too, we don't want to repeat, like we want to make something special. So for sure, you and I, we're going to be working during the summer before, and we're going to create something very nice. Very excited for SyncCon 2022. Okay, moving to finish this interview, my question is, what plans do you have for this year? If you can tell us without spoiling surprises, what places do you, you're planning to visit? What countries maybe are coming in the way for your scene jam sessions or your special events have have any plans to fly overseas in the next months yes uh, uh right now um i have a booking email so if you are a host and you are looking for <laughs> to host events you can always write me i may we maybe put it in the in the description or something uh but uh yes uh United States, obviously. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be in New Jersey. I'm gonna be in New York. I'm gonna be in uh, Atlanta this year. Uh, uh, Texas again. <laughs> Texas Very is nice. like a second home for me. Uh, California for sure. Uh, overseas. Um, I'm talking with Israel, uh, Turkey. Yeah, we're planning yeah. to go to Turkey for sure, of course. Oh. Uh, uh yes i think uh, uh, uh we it's still talking but uh, but uh, that's why i don't i don't know if i i i mention it or not but that i know and we're talking with germany we're talking with uk uh i was in uk for the Sin academy but i want to go and do a master class and i have an invitation to go there if it's not this year next year but um hawaii Hawaii, uh, nice. Yeah, we probably go to Hawaii, vacation and, and work, maybe <laughs> <in> both. <Yeah. laughs> I, I yes. know for sure. And I guess the best way, as you mentioned, you have a booking email and people can see your schedule on your Instagram, your Facebook, or any other social media that you have, TikTok. You you guys are all over. So And also, of course, in the in the Sim Jam page of Zumba, they can see where you're going to be jamming. Either it's virtual or it's going to be an in-live event. No, yeah, Here, here's a, um, a question. You have done many things. You have achieved uh, a w wonderful things in the, in the Zumba world. You have traveled the world. You have presented on SyncCon. You have done many things. What is the goal that excites you now? You know, what, what keeps you motivated to keep going? What goal do you have for the upcoming years? What excites you? That's the question. Uh, the, the, the... In, in my career, the thing that I can think now mm -hmm. is, is uh, so I, I maybe you may might be surprised. I don't know. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, I was not teaching uh, because since pandemic, I stopped teaching to respect everybody spaces and uh, everybody have you know everybody have an opinion something about about what. So I I just uh, laid back. I went full virtual teaching right. classes virtual uh, and then um, now that everything is, is is going better and it's better and better every day uh, teaching teaching in in here in, in Orlando again 
Nice. And I, I, I have, uh, I stopped a class yesterday and I was so excited. I, I arrived like a, almost like an hour early <laughs> to the gym. <laughs> I was, I was like a kid for Christmas, you know, waiting and, and, and nervous. That simple thing may uh, excite me because uh, this is the community that have, have made me. Uh, if, with our Orlando, it, it was not running because uh, Orlando is the community who has lift me up and pushed me. And of course, to these classes come a lot of SIM members, but also students. So I, I get to I get to be a, a SUM instructor again, and that that excites me. For the future, I think that because of the pandemic, I think going back live to to visit uh, beautiful places and new places. Uh, uh, that's the most, the part that most excitement. Keep meeting people, keep connecting, keep helping, keep learning from them. Mm -hmm. uh, that excites me uh, a lot. Amazing. I think, as you mentioned, like going back to the source, like what is more than, than having your Zumba class somewhere where people can see you? Because, for example, even from Beto Perez, I know that he can travel the world, he can do big events, but he treasures so much having his class. That's, own class, I yes. think that's, the, that's the source, that's the heart, the spirit of Zumba, like your own class yeah. as a Zumba instructor. Amazing. I have a question, and this is to know from my side. We have done many warm-ups. The warm-ups of Ronnie are stored at djdaniacosta.com slash Ronnie. We have done it for live streams. We have done it for Puerto Rican flow. We have done it for scene academies. But maybe what warm-up have you liked the most? Or maybe what warm-up have impressed you the most of the collaborations that we have done together? Um, so you think a major problem. Major problem. And that warm-up is... Um, main thing, I love the energy. I love the transitions, every song that you put there. Um, I, I love something about you, Danny. It's like you, you know, you know for who you are working. And you took, you took, uh, uh, you learned that I, I was in love with Major Lazer's new album, Music is Weapon. <laughs> And somehow yeah. you came with, with this, like, I want to do this for you. And, and you did it. And I want to tell this publicly. I never tell Danny what to put, where to put. He do it and it's just, okay. And this is a big shout out for you, brother. Thank you so much. You just put, you just go with it. And then you deliver it to me. And, I, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> tell me some, Tell me what you want to change. Nothing. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> so major problem. For sure, I still use it. I I think my jam sessions are tired of it. <laughs> my young people. Uh, I love the energy of major problems. I love the the logo that you did because it's half major laser and half oh, me. Ronnie, and like, the I never thought it. That, no, that the we, major we, brother, like we, with the bear, with the with the shades, like it was like you two are one person. Yeah, <laughs> and I never thought it. And you came up with that, and that that was like mind blowing. Like how he come with that that idea. Have me and have uh, the, the major laser. Um, but let me tell you something. When I go to sing academies and I have big crowd of, of in front of me, um, and you have done other Puerto Rican flow warm up like uh, San Juan uh, Revenue. Uh, we did the PR Flow 2.0. We have done Hibarito that we... Hibarito. Hib Hibarito has a special story because we did that on the on the cruise. I remember a night before your class, I talked to you and I said, you know what, I want to do a warm-up for you. And I went to my room two hours before... Cruise. For your birthday, right? Two hours before that class, I just went in straight to my room. The idea shocked me and here it is. He didn't, yeah. he didn't rehearse this. He didn't practice. He just sounded and however it went. And it was, it was great. This warm up has gone to scene academies and people still get it. So if you want to get Ronnie's warm ups, go to djdaniacosta.com slash running for this 2022. We're going to prepare new warm ups. We're going to have something very special. Of course, when scene come shows up because we have different classes. So there's going to be different themes. I don't have yep. nothing more but to say thank you so much for taking the time. 
I am. Thank you, brother. I am very grateful because I get to learn your background, your story, uh, your work ethic, and this is for the people to get to know more about you. And hopefully, we can see each other soon. Have a great party, and well, thank you so much, Ronnie, for your time. Thank you, brother. Thank you for the opportunity, and uh, I, I keep doing this because I think that is it's really cool and and it opened the space like like you say like to know people better and to know their minds sometimes uh, you see me maybe only like by dancing or by queuing and and, and or in social media which um, social media is not real life you know and I, I have i am one of those that think like that about social media uh, so yes uh, having this is 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 amazing you know because because i think in uh, it makes us uh, closer and and our community uh, as you mentioned yes. we, we are yes. the, the sea world a language clothing people places so just amazing to know the story thank you so much yes. this was the sea world episode with cj ronnie Graterov from puerto rico we see you guys in the next edition and thank you so much